So after checking out drone and seeing that there's a chance that it will be working, uh, we went to see this beautiful montane forest, cloud forest. Um, we are walking on a trail, there's a stream nearby and it's really really beautiful habitat. I'm trying to get some footage um, of this habitat um, because we need it for our scenes about uh, the montane um, pit vipers which we have filmed before and it's really amazing environment here. So good morning. Uh, yesterday we had a long long drive from Cerro de la Muerte which is like almost 2000 meters above the sea level in the mountains even more I think maybe and we were driving for like six hours um, to Guanacaste region we are now in Nosara um, it's a big center for surfing but we are here because of snakes and we are going to meet with Ryan the local firefighter and recently he rescued um, at least two rail snakes So you usually uh, rescue snakes from people's houses or yeah generally the snake work? calls that we respond to would be a with the threat involved mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a venomous snake or not people feel it's a threat so they call us and we have to show up mm -hmm. the majority of the calls we attend to are not venomous snakes so we just capture them and let them go in the jungle the general populace here in Costa Rica think feels that uh, snakes are evil or all venomous <laughs> Mm -hmm. and, and need to be dispatched. So what we do is we'll show up, arrive on scene, capture the snake, uh, whether it's venomous or non-venomous, and then we uh, relocate it. That's perfect. Great job. Really amazing. So now during the dry season, the rail snakes are active? Generally, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are filming the rattlesnake here and some cows came to visit us. Hello. What you do here is right where you have her right now. Uh -huh. I can Just put it inside. Drop her head in and then guide the rest of her so her rattles don't break. Mm -hmm. Did you pull your first hook out? I will try. Mm -hmm. You can put your hook inside the box too. Mm, but it's, it's stuck. She's holding it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Very gently. Yep. Not really. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> 
Du bist Steine. You think he ate something or it's so fat like it's nature? Just fat. All right, this is a boa imperator. These snakes, they get pretty big. Biggest one I've seen was up close to four meters. This one's about two and a half. To give you an idea of size on these, these animals. Now, one of the things that we do as firefighters is we capture these guys in homes too. Because they like to eat your pets. Or they could be damaging for small children too. So, basically using your hook as an extension, you just keep the bitey end away from you. While doing that, you try and maintain control so it doesn't get a good wrap on you, because the first thing they do is they try and wrap on you. And to really control these animals, to get them contained in a box or a bag or whatever, you really do need to head them. So most cases we, we don't head the snakes, heading them be, meaning grabbing them by the head. But in this case, this is where we would, because this is too big of an animal to try and just handle with uh, tools. So the trick is to gently press on the head and grab them one time. And when you do so, it doesn't cause harm to the animal. It doesn't hurt the animal depending on how you hold the animal. So you're not squeezing the life out of this animal. You're just holding it with enough strength to where you have control of the animal. As you can see, she's completely calm. I'm not hurting her, but you have control of this animal and then you can put her in your, your transport bag or box or whatever you may have at that point. So here we have a boa in Costa Rica. It's a huge one. And we'll try to get some footage of it. Hogy ez a szíjára mondja, hogy nem hátul. It's heavy snake. But it's beautiful, you can see the light on it. <laughs> so we are going to release this beautiful boa to a place where he will be far away from people Which? and he can hide here. For the first time in our stay in Costa Rica, uh, we have some time to be on the beach. Is it nice? Yes. <laughs> we are here for two minutes or something like this right now. But we are not leaving no, right hopefully. now. No, hopefully. Nice flock of pelicans. <laughs> so, so you can see we are following uh, the firefighter car because we are going to rescue call and it's probably rattlesnake somewhere in the house. So let's see. Uh -huh. yeah. 
Yeah? You are not there, it's very dark. <laughs> Okay, the snake is right there. <laughs> Hello. Hola. Mm -hmm. Tam. Ahí está. Mm -hmm. Can you maybe like wait for a second? Second. We will just prepare the camera. It will be very quick. Okay, we are ready. Ready? Yes. Okay. Good. Switch? No te gustan. No. <risa> Porque el, el, la muchachos ahí son buenos amigos míos. ¿Ah, sí? sí, entonces yo le mando serpientes a ellos para sacar la veneno por eso. Entonces. Sí, yo tengo ahorita unos serpientes por si acaso. Pero sí. Wow, pero... This is our cabin and here's the bathroom and there's somebody inside would you like to go out no okay so it's so very hot now it's very hot right now and we have like two hours uh, during the midday when the weather will be a little bit better and we can go to film a rattlesnake which we rescued yesterday so we decided to have some fun in the swimming pool ah! hello i'm a humpback whale show us wow. <laughs> okay this was proper whale yeah Mm -hmm. And I will show you what's amazing here. The swimming pool ends here. And there's a view on the forest. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. And it also kind of shows the main, the head neck lines that yep. are one of the main indicators of what kind of snake this is. Mm -hmm. And then it also shows that just because it had to die, it didn't become useless. Uh oh. They get mm -hmm. pretty big. So. This is a big one, yeah. Yeah. So this is the snake from yesterday, and we realized that there there's uh, not shedded skin on his eyes, so we put him a little bit into the water, so maybe we will be able to shed it easily later. Ryan Bombard, this is uh, un cascadel, coral simas, se capturó la noche, y vamos a librarlo ahí, ahora. So we just uh, released the rattlesnake from yesterday here in this beautiful spot. Uh, we realized that he uh, has damaged eye and also some old injury on the body but we hope he will be safe and happy here near the water. Thank you very much. A lot of fun spots, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so so much. It was Thank you. Time. Uh, from Puerto Viejo on the Caribbean coast. Um, yesterday, yesterday we were driving from Nosara on the Pacific coast. Um, we managed to drive to Limon, which is already on Caribbean coast, but um, not exactly at the spot where we were going. So in the morning, we woke up early and we were driving from Limon to here. And we are waiting for the veterinary team to come to the local clinic uh, where the surgery of the Bushmaster will happen and we are really looking forward to see this it's a rare opportunity to film it <laughs> Thank you. 
Eva, Franco. Ya, ya aquí no hay nada que hacer, ¿no? Ya conmigo no hay nada. Perfecto, ¿eh? Está cerca, está cerca. Ya se comunica con ellos y todo. Tiene, ¿eh? Palo para que le haga una toma. Bueno, es que mejor es que So in the morning, the Bushmaster got the transmitter inside its body in Puerto Viejo and now we are walking up to the station in the forest in Kekoldi and tomorrow uh, the snake will be uh, released back to its natural habitat so um, of course we want to film that to you know have the full story of this Bushmaster which was found then we filmed it in its natural habitat then we have the surgery and we want to have the release also Susanna and Mathieu from Living Zoology. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos. Or if you want to support us even more, you can become a member of our YouTube channel. You can also buy our snake merchandise. The link to the store is in the description under the video. Thank you very much. Thank you.